which is also a conditional use subject to section 903.23 of the zoning ordinance. The light manufacturing operation proposed includes the reloading and retail sales of ammunition. The application and plan have been reviewed by the borough engineer. The comment letter has been received from him noting that all requirements in section 903.23 have been addressed by the applicant. The Planning Commission has recommended consideration of this application with the following three conditions to Borough Council. Condition one, prior to any occupancy permit being issued, the Bridgeville Fire Department is permitted access to the business for the development of a structure pre-plan and the owner shall annually or as needed to provide access to the fire department at reasonable times without warning during normal business hours to update the building pre-plan. Condition two, at the fire department's request, the building shall be placarded in, in accordance with current state fire code and or National Fire Protection Association recommendations, NFPA 704 document. Condition three, approval of the conditional use permit is provided that the owner meets all the criteria of the ordinance and meets all federal, state, local, and other regulations. Do we have any comments? I have some questions if I can. Go ahead, Joe. Um, Antonio, just, these are just mainly for you. Um, is there going to be a monitor fire alarm system, you know, hooked up to some type of security system that if the fire alarms go off, an automatic call is going to happen? I don't have any of that in, in, um, in operation now, no. Is there any concerns that, you know, nobody's going to be called by the fire department? until they see smoke or something that it might I'm, be too late or i'm not worried about it because the <clears throat> the quantity is going to be so minimal that i i really don't see there being any issue at all and, and i'm glad you asked that you made that what what is the quantity approximately that you would have I, I can have a few thousand rounds a week which i know it sounds like a lot but it's really not it's very small you know, a pound of powder can do a couple thousand rounds. So the quantity of powder that I'm going to have is going to be very minimal. And then I'm not doing anything on site, you know, large stock or anything like that. So, in, and I remember in the planning commission meetings that there was a comment that that 40 pound increments or 40 pounds, is that? No, what, no, they're, what, they're eight pound, eight pound containers. Okay. Yeah. And I would only have a couple of them at a time. Okay. Um, and then, um, what was the last question? And here comes Ray and that was perfect timing. Cause I, I was talking to Ray about this earlier. So when it talks about incremental, when the, I'm sorry, I don't have this question. Who, who is monitoring you through all this? Is it the, it's not the FBI. What, what's the, the ATF? ATF. Yes. And they manage what you're permitted to? Uh, yeah, they'll have, I don't know exactly what it is because I don't have the license yet, but there will be restrictions on what I'm allowed to have. But I know I'm going to be way, way below what they're even allowed me to have. So, but when you start doing really well, because I've never heard, does anybody else know if there's any other? Well, I'll get asked that question in a second. But so once the business progresses, is that, I mean, is there an opportunity that you may be pushing against that, correct? There could be if that opportunity arises, then I'll probably seek maybe a new location or, you know, reevaluate at that time to what I need to do. You know, if there are any additional mandates, then that, that's fine. You know, I'll definitely comply with all those. Okay. <laughs> and now, is there, is there anybody sorry. else in the area that, that does this type of thing? Not that I know of. I'm sure there is, but I mean, there's a lot of people that have the same kind of machine set up in their house, in their basement that, you know, they reload their own ammunition for, you know, whether it's hunting or sport, it's the same exact same machine that I have. It's just, I'm looking for the license to be able to retail those, um, that ammunition. Okay. Sorry for all the questions. Those are when I'm hearing all the planning commission meeting, that was, those were things that kind of were running past, uh, um, just my only concern would be that fire alarm system would, would is really the one question if it would be hooked up to some security company. Just I could, I could do something like that. I mean, if, if you know, 
that's that's not a problem. Those are pretty. Well, easy I'm not the only in. one. I'm just bringing that up to council. Is it something that we should consider? I, I'm sure I can ask the um, the fire chief whenever he comes and takes a look at everything. If he feels that I need to put an alarm system in like that, then that's fine. I'll do it. Well, your insurance and the, uh, uh, your insurance has a lot of, lots to do with that because I sold uh, that stuff when I was in business, and I know the insurance was, was very very technical about it because uh, it's something it reflected them. Matter of fact, uh, I pay a lot more insurance other than everything else. There was uh, pretty pretty. Uh, higher price so so in other words what i'm trying to say the insurance has a lot of concern on the underwriter mm -hmm. has a lot of concern about that yeah and i was actually on the phone with my insurance agent today and we are working up you know quotes and, and prices for all that stuff yeah. so again if that's something they need to do then that's fine i'm not against it by any means hey anthony i'm looking at the blueprints here i just had one question um, everything is going to be located for the reloading facility upstairs on the second floor, correct? Yes. Um, what is directly beneath where you store the the, uh, the powder? The powder is on the first floor. So that's, that's going to be kept in the safe? That's where the safe is, yeah. So there's nothing beneath that. Reloading on, top, on the top floor where I'm reloading underneath that is just bathrooms. Okay. And now that, that's safe. That's located right next to a door correct yes okay yeah bolted to the floor thank you mm -hmm. we have any additional questions One so more time, is any, go ahead go ahead Mr. just Chairman. any additional questions go ahead nina well i was saying uh is council c before the uh, the motion, uh, the approval, disapproval, uh, is any uh, contingency that we council think about it to put on this uh, motion? Maybe. There's a lot. There's a lot of questions. There's few few very marital questions there. Being in that business, and I know. So if there's any contingency that any one of us uh, think about it, it would be the best time to put one on. And if I might interject, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, at the close of the hearing, this is quasi-judicial. You're allowed to deliberate in executive session and you can discuss in addition to the recommendations of the planning commission, any other conditions that you may wish to fashion for a um, decision. Thank you, Tom. Uh, any other questions to consider during the, uh, the open meeting? If not, I would take a motion to adjourn. Bruce, so moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that motion passes. This meeting is adjourned. If I could have council stay uh, for an executive session, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I'll do it.